Hi everyone, here is Nina and we are going to see another tutorial on Grasshopper. So let's get to it. In the last tutorial we saw how to make a simple cylinder or a ring, we can say. Today we are going to see how to rotate it, how to deconstruct it, and how to populate it with spheres. So I'm going to rotate this object. I double click on canvas and white uh, rotation, but here I already have rotate 3D. If you don't know how to find it, uh, here you can press Ctrl, Alt, and then uh, left click on the component and Grasshopper will show you where you can find this component. As you see, this component accepts a geometry, angle, center, and an axis. I connect my extrusion to the geometry. The angle by default is set to radians, but I want degrees. So I right click and then I choose degrees. I want to rotate this 90 degrees, so I double click on the canvas and write 90. So it will give me a number slider. You can press Alt, Control and left key to see where you can find the number slider. And I connect it to my angle. The center of the rotation, I want to be the center of the circle. So I get the point and I connect to the center. For the axis, I want to turn this around X axis. So I just type X and I see the X unit. So I connect it and then you see that you can turn the object around the X axis. Now I just turn off this preview and you just can see the second one. The next step is to extract the outer surface of the ring, assign some points on that and then assign to that point some spheres. For this, I go to the surface, analysis, and the construct rep. So the B rep stands for boundary representation. I connect my geometry and it will deconstruct the geometry. This component will give me faces, edges, and vertices. So I need to choose from these four faces that I have. To do this, I use list item. One thing that I really recommend you is to use the component panel to see what is going on inside each component. For example, here, if I connect the faces to the panel here, I will see how many faces I have here, how many uh, items I have here inside and what is going on. I connect these faces to this component. And if I check here, I just turn off these other components to see the result of this. I need to find the outer surface. Do this, I need to choose from zero to three so I write the number two here, for example, and I search for the one I need. So number one is the second item in this list that I need. I want uh, the spheres to populate the upper part of this surface. For this, I need to slice this surface in two parts. I can do this through a plane, so an XY plane that passes in the middle of the cylinder. I type XY and it gives me XY plane. 
as you see this plane is, the origin of this plane is set to 0, 0, 0 exactly the center of our circle but we can also connect our point to the origin of this plane so we are sure that they are connected next I need to intersect my surface with the plane so I go to the intersect tab and mathematical and then I choose B rep plane now I connect my surface and the plane to the component and if I check here I will have two curve here and here that are the intersection between the surface and my plane now I turn off this preview so you can see better I have the surface and two lines now I will slice this surface with two lines to do this I go to intersect physical and surface split so I connect my surface and these two, uh, two curves to my component now I will use the list item component to choose the, the one I need I can put 0 or 1 here now I go to vector, grid and populate geometry I connect my surface and as you see by default we have 100 points on the surface but I can add some more if I want or less now I want to assign spheres to this point so I go to surface primitive and sphere and I connect this point to the base plane of spheres I can also change for example the radius of these spheres so here is how I made this ring the only thing is if you want to 3d print this ring be careful about the size because now the inner circle is smaller because of the spheres and just measure and be careful about these details and see you for the next tutorial Thank you.